I'm Randy Reed, editor of the Edison Report, and we're here at Legication 2025. We call this our C-Suite series, and I am joined by Paul Drosen, the general manager of the Dolly Alliance. Paul, it's Thank a pleasure to see you. And uh, Paul, tell our audience a little bit about what you guys are doing to grow membership and to make it easy to get new members. Okay, well, first of all, thank you, Randy, for this interview. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, what we're doing at the Dali Alliance is one of the things that we're doing is we're looking to expand membership uh, amongst what we call community members, which is okay. for luminaire manufacturers right. that are using already certified Dali devices in their luminaires, okay. and they can become a member of our alliance for free of charge, okay. no charge, and they can build their luminaires, view the trademarks, and market them as Dali. Okay, that's huge, free of charge. Right. How many members do you have now, ballpark? Uh, we have over 430 members right now, so okay. and, and it grows daily, so I, I don't know what the exact number okay. is today. So what are some new developments you've got going on with Dolly right now? So new developments, uh, the main thing we're working on right now that's applicable to this market in particular is training and educational materials for lighting designers, specifiers, installers, building owners, investors, Pretty much anyone that might interact some way with Dali or lighting controls generally. Okay, so I talked to Jeremy yesterday about this. Can you tell our audience more about these modules? How does it work? Are they online? Can anyone go and do it? Do you have to be a Dali member? How does it work? Okay, for, for some of the materials, you'll need to be a Dali member because they were aimed squarely at the membership. But our aim is actually to partner with other organizations to deliver both online okay. training and in-person training okay. through different platforms. Uh, I can't talk about those partnerships right now because they're not yet announced, but okay. I think there'll be big news when they when they come. Okay, that, that's fascinating. And when they are announced, I hope you'll think of uh, your friend here. Absolutely. Because we love to, uh, we love to announce it. You know, um, again, I was telling Jeremy, we write a lot of articles in Design Lighting Magazine, and we are just seeing Dolly on more and more jobs here in the U.S. So congratulations on that, because I think your efforts are paying off. That's the feedback that we get from the design community and, and from the lighting community as a whole. So previously, we were working on visibility of Dali. Then we worked on building the comfort levels with Dali, and now, with these educational materials, we, we want to build further on that to enable the, the lighting designers and anybody that's going to use Dali to just you know raise that comfort level that they, they can understand that it it works, it communicates well, it makes life so much easier. And anybody that ever does a project with Dali, of course they're reticent to change at the start because nobody likes change. You know, you want to stay in your comfort zone. But actually we find that the feedback we get is, oh, I wish I'd done it sooner. Right. I wish I'd switched to Dali sooner and make my life so much easier. Now, Paul, tell our audience about Dali myth busting. What are some of the misconceptions? Well, there are some many common misconceptions, especially here in the USA, about Dali. One of the most common ones is, is Dali too expensive? Um, and the clear answer is no. The total cost of ownership, the ease of installation, the, the, the product cost is, you know, there may be a negligible right. product cost, but it, it's not significant. And, and the way that it makes life so much easier in those projects, it's, it's, it's less expensive, if anything. Okay. We have one of our biggest advocates, a uh, lighting designer here in the USA, you probably know him, Harvey. Oh yeah, and Abraham Moore. Exactly, and, and he will right. tell anybody that will listen, and right. anybody that won't listen, that oh. Dali is less expensive, and he'll explain in great de detail how. Well, it's fascinating because I attended the Dali Summit last year, yes. and I heard Abraham's talk. And I thought it was fascinating. And boy, he is a strong proponent for Dolly. And we just need to get that word out there. Well, I think you guys are doing a good job getting the word out. And if you will look to your immediate left, left, keep looking. You're gonna see Carol Jones here, who has written a few articles for us. Yes. And we're very appreciative of that because I think she's doing a great job of getting the word out there for Dolly. 
that is her job, and she's very, very active with it. Yeah, yes, we're, we're happy to have Carol. Yeah. Okay. Paul, thank you. Thanks very much, Pleasure. Randy.